In this video, I will show you how to install a Dymo label maker when you don't have the original disc. The process is pretty straightforward, but before we get started, make sure that you do not plug the Dymo printer to your computer just yet. Windows will try and find drivers for it, and it may cause issues down the road. Go ahead and open your preferred browser. In my case, I'm gonna use Google Chrome. Going to expand the window and I'm going to type in dymo.com and I'll have that linked in the description box below. Click on resources and guides and in the sub menu, click on downloads and user guides. I need the drivers for the Dymo 4XL printer so I will click on that drop down menu but choose according to the device you are trying to install. The same concept applies for this next step. Choose the download button based on the device that you are using. I have a Windows machine, so I will choose accordingly. After clicking the download button, wait for the installation to finish. Click on the file on the downloads bar, and that will kick off the installation process. Click OK to keep the default language. You may need to install some required components like I did. If so, click install. Click next, click the I accept button and then click next. Click next again to keep the default file folder. And the next window asks if you want to complete the installation or a custom version. And for those who are curious, it just gives you uh, the option to choose which parts of the Dymo software you actually want installed. Um, I want it all, so I will select complete and then I will click next. Click the install button and this kicks off the actual installation of the software. I did receive this notification while installing, but only because I had multiple programs running in the background. If you want to avoid this message, make sure you are closed out of all programs before you run the installer. You've reached the end of the software installation. You can now leave the two boxes checked if you wish to do so, but I will uncheck the improved Dymo products box only because I don't know what type of data they are collecting on my usage. When you click finish, you will see a message box stating that your computer needs to be restarted. Go ahead and follow through with the instructions and reboot your machine. And once it reboots, feel free to plug in your Dymo printer. Open up the software and this is what the interface looks like. I like to click on the don't show these again box so I don't get the pop-up every time I open the software because that's a little annoying. I am going to run a print test. So I will click on new and my Dymo printer is showing connected. So I will select the label type. And in my case, I am using the four by six shipping labels. So I'll go ahead and click okay. And then I'll click open. I'm gonna go ahead and jot down a quick message. And then I will click print. If your label prints out, then you have successfully installed your Dymo printer. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.